Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Uh, this is a video that my first part of this video, I had to use, I used my regular camera and all of a sudden I sound like Satan, so don't be afraid. It fixes itself. It's very quick. And then the second half is me doing it and then I'm going to end it and then start uh, another video. So, you know, finishing this. So just letting you guys know, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So let's hope my camera works good today. Um, so I love drawing this little girl. Um, I've done a couple canvases with her. So I real quick drew her out. I'm going to do her on a canvas. I'm going to do a mixed media background and I can't quite decide whether I want to do it on a panel or a canvas. Um, I think I'm going to do it on a 10 by 10 wood panel though. I don't know. I, will, I want something square. I don't necessarily want it um, elongated, I guess. Um, these are from Plaid. I'm just saying. Uh, you get, this is one piece. I think they come, I think they're like three something or something like that. Um, I love them because, you know, you can do so many things on them. But um, it's a 10 by 10 if you are curious. And then this is, a, I believe, 8 by 10 or something like that. But I think I'm going to save this because if I put her on here, I, I like kind of putting her to the side. And then I can do a, whatever I want here. If I do her on here, she kind of, you know, we don't have much room left. I don't know. I can't quite decide, so I think I'm just going with this. Okay, so... I've drawn her a million times on my channel, so if you want her drawn again, I'll let me know. But, okay, so first what I'm going to do, this is wood, it's untreated. Um, so something I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some gesso down. And you don't necessarily have to do this, but when you're using wood, and I love using wood, I can't tell you how much I love using wood, but when you're using wood, you... Um, it sucks in. You know what I'm saying? So if you have gesso, uh, whatever color, or you have, maybe you have like a big white paint, acrylic paint or something. I mean, you can see it's just sucking that bad boy in. And I'm not worrying about being so uh, all over, you know, because I like the different uh, color variations. Now you can also stain this. You can stain this with some food color or wood uh, stain, um, watercolors. I mean, you could really have fun with this. So maybe another day I'll do that. But you see, I'm just kind of brushing it. Look at me. I'm so fancy. And you can see it's not everywhere. And white comes off very bright. So I'm going to rinse my brush because I will use it again, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just going to the majority of that water out and leave it sit. I can see I have a little bit more white in there, but that's okay. So while that does that, I want to decide, am I going to put things, am I going to glue things down? What am I going to do? I don't know. I uh, should have thought of that, I guess, before I started. But what I'll do is I will grab, I have this. And I have another, uh, you would not know it in my mess, and I don't know what I did with it. So, this like, no, that's okay. let's see what we have in here. Let's go a little bohemian, shall we? And this is just from, I don't even know who makes this. I don't know. It doesn't say right here, so. If you know, let me know down below. We're just doing, like I said, a quick background. Now, I really am digging the birds. I also dig the butterflies, the birds, the butterflies. I think, oh, the deer are nice too. They are my spirits and them all. all right. okay. Now, I'm only going to need one. And the reason being is I know she's going to go, you know, on this side and I don't need um, to cover underneath of her, but I can, 
you know, just kind of glue that on. Now you could rip this in different pieces and do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in half. And then I'll go from there. Now mixed media, I love doing um, a million different layers and all that. I don't want to do that today um, because I just don't feel like it. But mixed media can be um, just this. Where it's, you know, my drawing. So there's different, you know, different things. That's mixed media. Maybe we'll use some... Who knows what we'll use. Maybe some pencils, charcoal, paint pastels. Who knows? But I'm going in like this. And I have not painted. I'm going to paint the background, but I don't, I haven't yet. Why I picked the smallest brush in the world is beyond me. So let's go back in with our big brush. I feel, I feel this small touch up so much. So many times it's almost empty now and I don't care. It's going everywhere. I just want to make sure that it's getting on those edges of the paper. And then I will take it and lay it up at the top. And if you don't get it all the way to the edge or it slides, just slide it back. Oh my gosh. My dogs decided that they're going to wrestle while I do this. So. Yay me. <laughs> and it's going to be a little glary on the um, camera just because it's wet. And for whatever reason, that is just what cameras do. And I'm just moving it, pulling it a little bit. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, the only thing I'm going to tell you is to really take your finger and make sure all the bubbles are out. Just give it a push out. Start in the middle and go. Get those edges down. Yeah, she's good. Okay. Now, down here, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to be artistic. Am I? Will I be successful? <laughs> Probably not. But I'm going to cut like here. Let's see if this works. Oh gosh, Kelly, why do you try new things? Okay. We're going in. Okay. And listen, don't throw this away. This is fun stuff. Did I, I made him a little wacko. Um, so we're just going to go like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> oh no. Okay. That's all right. That's all right, Kel. Look, I'm going to pour a little bit of this out, a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm going to show you a trick. Okay. So leave that there for one second and I'm just going to lay this down. Like Stephen Piercy says, buddy. Okay. All right. Oh, come on, baby. That. Push this up. A little slippery slidey. Go like this. Now, I'm going to take the rest of that glue and I'm going to go over this. And what that's going to do, it's going to seal it because Mod Podge is a sealer. Right? So I'm just going over it. So now when I paint over it, it won't, you know, it sealed the wood a little bit. So that's always a plus. So if you spill out a little bit more than maybe you want, push this up a little bit more. Let's see, it's already starting to dry. Mod Podge is quick as all get out. There. Okay. And then what we'll do, once this is dry, I'll just give it a little bit there. Make sure it's glued down. Yeah. Okay. Then once it's dry, I will cut that off. So we're going to let this all dry and then we will be back and we will go on to the next thing. 
Okay, guys, I'm seeing if this other camera of mine will do better. I don't know. Um, so let's see what the sounds like and everything else. So I drew her and I painted her hair red. I need to do another coat on her and I don't want that on. This is also new to me. I got to use a whole other, uh, whole other, uh, why is it doing that? Okay. Camera thing. So I'm going to cut her out. I'm going to do one more coat on her hair and then I'm going to cut her out. My daughter, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I'm going to mention it again. She got um, picked for to be in a uh, poetry book. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, you'd see I posted, I posted the book, and we just got ours in the mail. So I posted today the poem that she wrote. So she won a contest and got published in a book she's our first published author so i'm so excited she writes the best poetry and she has books and books and books that she's written so i was very excited where she and i wish she would do it more i told her she needs to do a um do like an amazon ebook or something where you know maybe she could put like 10 of her poems in you know, maybe people will buy it for a dollar or two and she can make a couple extra bucks and, you know, really get into it. Maybe eventually get her own book and be like, uh, who are they? Uh, Nikita and all them on uh, Nikita Gill, I think is her name. Oh, and the other one. Oh, God, we love them. We love them so much. I can't remember their name at the moment. But you guys know. My brain, when I'm put on the spot, I am horrible. But if you love poetry, you guys know who I'm talking about. We just love it. I write, like I said, as well. But I think I'm, maybe I put this in the first part of the video. I talked about it. Because I remember me saying, you know, I like to write as well. And... But mine doesn't come close to my daughter's. She's just awesome. All right, I'm going to go out of these lines just a little bit. So when I cut it, I'm not missing any color. I notice I do that to myself a lot. <laughs> I'll do this and then I'll go to cut and I'm like, oh, how am I going to paint those edges now? We're going to do it right now. So that is for that. And I'll probably put some low lights or something in her hair when it's, you know, when I go to, uh, once she's glued. And I did her eyes green, of course. I always do them green. I also have my cord sitting here. I didn't type everything up yet because I figured I'll wait to make sure that I'm going to keep it. So when I put her down, once I cut her out, She's going to go, like her hair is going to end here about, and she's going to be here. So I'm going to have some space here, right, um, from like here over. So I'm deciding on doing one of two things. I might just cut this in strips, like cut it here and then put another, just so it kind of, kind of continues the pattern. See, that's hard to see when it's down that far. I wonder if I can get in closer. Um, and let's see, see, it doesn't change the color like it needs to though. Ugh, it's so frustrating. Um, so I need to be warmer. I gotta decide. I want to put pink as the background. We're going to go like Kelly who, because Kelly never really but I'm, I want to keep this, it's so pretty with the deer and the pink and everything that 
I want to keep it pink. So let's see how I can do this here. I just want it to come out. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was going to do that's what she said, but okay. And I'm going to go around. Now, I've all, and you can see it's kind of a bright pink. Not pink enough, though. It might be a little bit better. So um, I want to do. I don't know if I want to keep this like this or I want to do like pink over it. Oh, I don't know. But I'm going to wet my brush the littlest bit to put this over. And I obviously she's a little too pink. That's okay. Yeah, I think I'm going over. And I'm, I am going to lay it all over because she's going to lay on top and glue, but it won't hurt anything. But I want it to be safe. That is bright pink, that color. Sure is. I picked up the wrong pink. I'm going to do something. I'm wetting my brush, and I'm going like this. Now, this is a glossier uh, page, and I have some Mod Podge on it, so... Chances of it sinking in deep is not going to be much, but it might give it a little hue. All right, and then I'm going to go over this. I like that wood coming through a little bit. So I'm going to lay that there for a second. I'm going to grab a paper towel. And let's lay it on here. I'm not going to scrub. I'm going to just kind of do this. Yeah, she is way too light still. Dun, 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 dun. If I hit this, that goes, ugh, it's gray. We don't want that. I need it like warmer, right? Oh, that might be a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see as we take this off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I got like the uh, paper towel imprint. Okay, so I'm going to do here and do here. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Let me show you. See? Look at the imprint of the paper towel. I got, I got um, mixed media where I didn't, you know. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to wet it. And I'm not, I'm just going on the sides here. And I'm not worrying about it being um, opaque, right? I like the wood coming through. I just want some of that pink on there to carry through down. I gotta do that again. Come here, little friend. Yeah. Okay. And I'll turn it this way. Just while I have this pink on my uh, brush, why not? Use it to my advantage. And you see how it gives it like a nice, it got a nice pinkness to it, but it's not, um, you know, completely pink. But it's pretty in pink. You know what I'm saying? Anybody know the song? Pretty in pink. That's all I know of it. I did enjoy the movie, though, when I was young. But she ain't young no more. Okay. So. Now, I'm not too worried. I, you can see I got some water drippage there. But it's going to cover with her. So, I'm not going to worry about too much. You can dab it if it, you know, want to. But it's all right. And I'm going to draw this real quick. But you see how you can use everyday things like a paper towel, and you get this really cool, and I'll show you it again up close. I'm an imperfection person, so imperfections, uh, I'm embracing them lately, as you can see, like here and all, I don't care, but look, we got 
that in there. Let's see if I move this if that'll help. Um, and you got some really good texture, so even on top. And it just looks, you know. Now I gotta decide, do I wanna put more of that paper down? But I think I need to cut her out first to see where she's gonna sit. So I like to go very quickly around. I did her hair on this. Sometimes I don't do hair. Sometimes I'll just leave her as a um, round, you know, uh, oval, and then I'll add hair once I get her um, glued on. But sometimes I just like to throw caution to the wind and do the hair on there. I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess, like, with everybody, with things that you like to do, sometimes you do it one way. You know, it's like this. It's like that. It depends on your mood, what you feel like doing, what kind of, you know, supplies you have, the look you're going for, all the things. I can see I missed a little bit on the bottom there, but I'm not going to worry at the moment. I can go back and touch that up. And boop. This will not be, I mean, I'm, I don't know how long it's going to be, but um, I want to make sure this camera is working before I really go and do videos like I want to do. I just feel, wait till you hear on my other, on my first video that I did, which I have to do a thing. I turn into the devil for a few minutes, so. It's just the way it goes, and I can't, like, if I change it, because, I, I don't know, just, it's just a second. And come on, who are we kidding? We all get a little devil in us once in a while, right? Okay. All right. So I see here, I got her little, little wave right here. I need to like, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is when those little things start. Like, I'm like, okay, girl. All right, girl. Just little things. Okay. Give it a shake. I don't know why, but why not? Okay. So we have an idea of where we're at, right? So I think my camera's starting to fall because I have it rigged up here. So that's straight. And then this needs to be like low. It might slide again, but that's all right. So, I want her head. Obviously, her hair is going to be here. Now, I can see. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see. There's a little bit of a line left up there. So, I do want to take make sure I get that because I have her kind of measured. Come on. What are you doing here today? This is really great feature content today. I can't help it. My thing broke and ugh, Emily thought she was doing such a wonderful thing and she bought me a webcam because um, I had put one on my Amazon wish list, but here it's only for streaming and it doesn't, it's like a fishbowl effect and it, I don't know, it's just very confusing. So um, it didn't work for what I need it for. It's more like for streaming live games and whatnot. So my other one's just broke. So I'm using my older one. And uh, I need Dave to help me really get it up there because he knows how to get it up, you know. I got the tape up there, but it's falling. <laughs> All right. So she's going to go like this and up like that. I don't think, do I want to put any more deer? You know what I think I might do? There's a little mixed media over here. 
Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to see if this started recording and how the voice is. Uh, and I'm going to figure this out. I got to fix, like, make this a little straighter. Um, and then I'll glue her down and I'll leave her dry overnight. And I'll come back and um, we'll do some something on the back here. Some sort of, I don't know. I don't know if you want to do mixed media. Now, I can always... Because it almost looks like wallpaper, right? Do I want to put another page on the back? Just so wasteful because... I wish you guys were here with me so you could help. All right. I don't know. All right. I'm going to leave this dry. I'm going to see if this worked. And I'll see you when I come back.